welcome to another live stream. Um, okay, so we were definitely struggling yesterday. Um, this is still like, I still need to dry um, our little like planter dish. Um, what do we have here? Okay, so that's just um, stuff. So let's get our slab out. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna work on this yesterday, and then I didn't. <laughs> um, I was kind of like working on. I can't put this. Uh, I was kind of working on stuff uh, for the shop that I have online. Um, currently I am, so I told you guys that I used to do, um, kind of like a variety of other, like, um, art media and all kinds of stuff. So, um, but now we are going to be focusing on ceramics. Let me just clean up my, um, table real quick. I just kind of want to get some of this clay dust out of here um yeah so we're focusing on ceramics for the business now um so what I'm doing is like this is kind of like a great time to just like put things on sale and try to kind of like sell the other stuff off um because this is kind of like close to the time where people are going to be buying stuff um for the holidays and whatever so we're just getting that started early. Hopefully I can like sell like some of the other stuff here. Um, okay, let me like kind of move this over here. Um, so that's kind of like what I was working on yesterday. It's like trying to get the shop updated. It's so annoying because I have an Etsy shop, but I also have my own store also so like i have to update both of them separately um and yeah it's kind of like a it's pretty annoying okay let me see i don't know maybe let's try the other ruler um so we like did all this work yesterday and then I was like, mm, no, nah, it's like too thick. So we're going to like um, cut this again. Like I made it a bit thinner. So we're going to like, we have to like kind of do the, the measuring all over again. Um, okay, let's see. Actually, that one's too small. <clears throat> So I think, let me just kind of like, we don't have a ton of wiggle room <laughs> because we obviously cut it um, down a size a bit. Um, okay, so I think I was kind of going for three and three quarters, but I think I'm going to add a little bit to that because when we cut it, it's not really exact. So... Okay, so I'm just gonna like mark this out. Um, and then let's recut this edge. I think, um, okay, hopefully that was good. Um, <clears throat> this is like, I don't know, this is like, <laughs> my newfound struggle, um, it's like, trying to cut the ceramic stuff, 
nicely. Um, okay, I think this should be good. Um, I suppose I can start cutting on this side. I'm just going to throw that into my reclaim. It's like, <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. I think we can use this now. <clears throat> Oh my god. <laughs> Why does it have to be such a struggle? Um, okay, so this is kind of like, it's telling me we're going at kind of like the wrong angle. Oh my gosh. I feel like there is so much you can do with slab building, but this is, oh my God, just <laughs> the whole angles and stuff. This is so, okay, hopefully it's like straight. Oh my God. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab a larger ruler. Actually, um, yeah, I think it's in the other room. Just in case, for some reason, I can get those. Oh my gosh. Alright, I don't know. Maybe it helped. Hi, Robert! Oh, you're making like Polish hot dogs? I, um, I've never heard of that. Um,. But that sounds very nice. Um, I'm struggling over here to like get this slab to be a perfect rectangle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we got this thing. Oh my god, I really don't want to have to like redo this if it comes to that. Um. <laughs> Hopefully it won't. Okay. We are, um, I don't know if you were watching yesterday, but yesterday we started this, um, <laughs> We are trying to make a, well, I am trying. <laughs> I'm trying to make a slab built mug. So like in reality, like the step-by-step -step is easy to do. It's just, we are, we're kind of struggling on just like the actual making the these shapes. <laughs> um, so, let me see. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I like too much stuff over here.
Um, yeah, yesterday we worked, we worked on this, but then I was like, no, I think it's like too thick. So that's why we have to like, we're going back and fixing it. I don't know. Let me just like put this line here and see how that is going. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard with this. I feel like I'm usually pretty good at this kind of a thing, or at least with paper. Uh, <laughs> maybe that is not accurate anymore. think maybe this is good I mean we kind of have to like I think we have to trim it down um like this like height this is square doesn't really look square Oh my god. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is like one of those things that just like takes practice or if this is just one of those things where it's just like, you know what? <laughs> We're not doing slab building after this. I don't know. <laughs> I really, um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure the only other slab building I've done is, like, that barn that I made, which is not done. I've mentioned that quite a few times. I want to redo it. Um, the barn and then that cake slice container that we were working on. Those are, like, I think those are the only things I've ever done like slab building um so um okay maybe i don't know maybe it is squared off good um okay oh yeah we have to change the height of it though maybe i should use those i don't know Okay, so I was kind of thinking, I feel like the top edge is kind of weird. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to do, try to like cut it at around like three and three quarters of an inch tall, um, ish. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna use my other ruler to take this out. Um, when I cut it yesterday, it like kind of like splays outward a little bit and it lost some of that length. So. <clears throat> I think we're gonna do like an eighth of an inch more than that. Um, I don't know, can I just like put two rulers on the side and like um, make sure, this thing is like freaking huge but I'm trying to like 
Wait a minute. I think this side is longer. Oh my god. <laughs> the slab building is like, oh, that looks so easy. But then like the actual like doing this part of it is like, what is I'm just like, what the heck? Okay. I kind of want it to be How big is this? Oh my gosh. The side is a different size. Um, the side is actually like pretty close to being like three and a quarter. We're gonna cut this and then it's gonna be like the wrong size. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hopefully it's not. I did feel like this corner over here seemed a little weird. Um Okay, oh my gosh. I wonder I hope we're done with this. So what we're going to do is kind of, um, we're going to wrap it around and kind of take a look at how <laughs> this really, it's very large. Um, I think this is kind of, let me see, it's very large. This is like Probably if you wanted just like a cylinder vase, this is definitely the way to go. I think you're just putting a lot of extra time into just squaring off the sides and such. Um, okay, so I have this mug here that I really, I really like the size of this. Um, I, I do like the um, handle too. Um, but I really am kind of going off of like the size and the height, like how wide it is and how tall it is, or yeah, uh, the width and the height of this. Um, because some of the other mugs are just not quite right that I have. Um, I didn't make this, um, but this is why it's over here. Um, again, for anybody that watched yesterday's video this is gonna be probably a very similar struggle um okay so the inside diameter is about three and a half um i really don't like trust my math but i think you could i'm not really i'm not very good at doing like math in the real world um <laughs> But I like I think you could kind of estimate how much it will shrink to. Um but I don't really I don't know, I don't really trust that very much. I we're just gonna kind of like guess and do that. I think one of these sides is kinda weird. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be like guessing and just, <laughs> it's just like, I just made it like a bit bigger than the other one. This is obscenely like too long. So let's go ahead and trim it a bit, um, on the side here. <clears throat> Oh 
Okay. Save that piece. Okay. I mean, yeah, I do definitely feel like this is like way too much, but um, I just kind of, I don't know, like I don't want to be doing all of this and then we don't have enough clay to work with. Um, so that's just kind of like where I'm coming from with it. So that one's... Um, like kind of like measuring the inside diameter is three and a half. Um, I really have no idea like how much it's gonna shrink. Um, I wonder if like three and a quarter would be okay. That's kind of like how much, I think like how much taller we made it. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I get, I'm like really indecisive when I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> okay, maybe that's good. We're, I think we're just gonna go with it. <sighs> okay, um, and then we're just gonna kind of like mark this spot out. And then that's where we're going to See this look at look at all those markings and stuff. This is why I kept a little bit of the thickness on here. We didn't like make it obscenely too thin. Because we're gonna I'm gonna want to trim all that off. <laughs> I mean, I think we could if we wanted to, I think we could um kind of like smooth it out. It's not too bad, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna like add some water to this and I'm gonna kind of like um, put it together with this little guy. There's like quite a bit of clay here so I don't really want to throw it into my reclaim. Um, okay, cool. Um, Yeah, okay. I don't know, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm sorry, if I just like, if I just like stop, I'm probably just like f trying to like think through like what the next step would be. Um, okay, let's kind of see how this is looking. Okay. Um, this is like pretty big. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I think we're just going to go with it. This is porcelain. So... It is going to shrink quite a bit. Um, so I think we're okay to attach these sides together because normally um, I think you kind of like wait for it to get a shape, but um, I don't know, I wonder if there's anything I can kind of like wrap it around. Um, because we don't want it to like dry out and then we can't push it into this shape quite as easily. Um, I was talking about clay memory yesterday and that is I think a pretty good example of where it might still have that memory of where it was and it's going to try to go back to that other um, 
place where it was. So, which would be like laying flat. Um, and we don't want it to do that. So I think the best thing right now is to <clears throat> like um, adhere it at this point. Um, Okay, just kind of like squeezing it together and um, kind of like wiggling them a little bit um, to try to help with that kind of like um, merging process that's happening. Um, and then normally... Um, Normally what you do is kind of like, um, a lot of people will, I mean, just to like cover this up, but also people will add some clay, um, like over and around those areas. I know this clay is like a little bit too dry, I don't know. I would prefer if it was not so dry. Um, so I guess we can kind of like... Maybe like scratch it up a little bit. It's <laughs> probably like way too much clay, but that's okay. We can kind of just like trim that down when we get to the trimming part. Stupid thing. I think I'll tear this piece in half. Um, okay, we're just kind of like joining it the same that we joined those two sides. I know this looks like really like bad and like kind of dumb looking, but <laughs> um, it's just part of the process. Um, we're, we can get rid of a lot of this kind of like extra stuff that's going on, kind of like smooth it out, and all of that. It just is going to look kind of weird at the moment. And we want to do the inside too. Um, it's really important um, when you're doing this that you are adhering it correctly. Um, so you want to make sure that you're kind of like roughing up both pieces that are going to be part of the attachment. Um, using clay that is like maybe about the same as the, so like both of these are around the same dryness. Um, if your pot is like, um, like the main body that is um, getting the attachment, if it is um, too dry, um, and then you can't really use like a clay like to help with the attachment that is that same kind of like moisture level 
and then you would probably end up using a one that's um that has more water in it but then um at that point what's gonna happen is when it might look okay for a little bit but that um that point of connection is going to like um break and like it's just going to move away from um from that um point and it's going to cause a break or cracks that kind of thing so it's just like really important to oh um i need to score this i'm gonna take this kind of run across here real quick um that's definitely what makes like a mug really annoying <laughs> it's like well for me you have to like make an extra you have to make the handle um but like making sure that the handle is still close to the moisture of like the cup and then you're not waiting like too long to attach it but the handle kind of has to like dry a little bit so that when you attach it it's not it doesn't lose the shape um so it's just kind of like <laughs> you have to set it off to the side but like you can't set it off to the side for too long like you really have to like keep an eye on it um and it's just like a bit <laughs> more like extra work like it doesn't seem like that much extra work just like putting the handle on but it kind of like is um I'm not really I have not made like very many mugs either so I mean this is just me there are other uh, kinds of ways you can attach handles um I kind of like to cut them out of like a slab um and then attach it that way but you can also do like this um there's another way of doing it where it's kind of like um you have like a it's kind of it kind of looks like a very large coil and you score and such and attach one end and then you just kind of like stretch it and stuff out until it is like kind of like the desired like uh thickness that you want the handle you kind of like trim it and then attach the other side and generally that way um the way of doing that it won't like slump down quite as much um from that way of attaching it um so you can do it when it's um drier than doing it the other way <laughs> but I don't know I'm not like that definitely like that way definitely takes it has a little bit of a learning curve to it um <clears throat> and I don't know just kind of like <laughs> like figuring out how how to do that is kind of like the bit that you have to like learn and then like I think once you get that down, then it's not so bad. I mean, I don't know. I guess that's kind of like with anything. Okay. We're almost done here. I don't know. Maybe I'll have this like wrap around. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, yeah, I think I'll take my rib and, like, maybe, like, smooth this out a little bit. Um, probably shouldn't fiddle with it too much. It is, like, kind of bothering me.
I just kind of want to make sure that it is, um, like, fairly well, like, kind of integrated, um, into our cylinder shape. I'm going to just kind of, like, add some water to it. flip it over do like the upper inside I don't know I think I would just feel better about it if it's if it just kind of seems a little bit more well integrated um okay I feel pretty happy about that I don't like how it's cracking over here Hopefully we can kind of fill up these cracks. It's kind of like how I fill cracks with like pinch pots. I just like grab a bit of clay and like kind of smush it in there. Um, I haven't had any issues with pinch pots, so hopefully that's okay. Um, okay, so we all we have this. Um, I did kind of want to cut this into a handle shape. Um, let me see. Um, how thick would I want this? Yeah, it could go thinner. I don't, I don't know how much I need, so I'm just gonna, like, keep it kind of at this, um, length. We're just gonna kind of, like, try to thin it a little bit. Okay, um, I think that's okay. Um, all right. So this part doesn't have to be as exact <laughs> and drive me up a wall. So I'm just gonna like, I don't like that area over there. So we're just gonna like cut a straight edge here. I'm gonna kind of like, um, I'm just gonna like wet this and like add it to this little chunk of clay that we have. Um, yeah, I have like no idea like how much we need, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> um, okay, so like we can probably like cut around here. I just wanna get a good idea of like roughly where it should be. And then, oh my gosh, so much stuff over here. Okay, cut it here and then we'll trim that down too. Okay, just so I can kind of like see. Um, I mean, 
mean, you can do like, I've seen, I have seen mugs where it's like this, but it goes out to like here. Um, so you can definitely be weird with it. <laughs> um, I'm not really, I don't really like do anything too crazy. I really, um, it's kind of, funny. I think when I did Cermax, it was, I think it was before I started, before I got this cup. But I really like um, this kind of way that this handle is made. So it's kind of like attached around like at these points. Um, but then it has a lot of extra clay really like smoothing it into the body. That's, um, this is very, it, the bottom part isn't as like smoothed, but um, this top part really does look like like the way that I do my handles. Um, again, I didn't make this mug, but it's kind of like, this is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you just go on like Pinterest, you can see all kinds of really weird, wacky, crazy ways people will do handles. Um, I, um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not really ready for that. Um, I kind of want to start off with, like, how I personally like handles. Um, because some of the really weird ones, um, like, oh, the ones where it's like, you can't fit three fingers in them. Like, it's, like, so small. You can only fit two fingers in them. Those drive me crazy. I hate them. Um, stuff like that. Like, you could, yeah, you could make the super tiny handle. You can make them super big. But, like, I don't know. I kind of just want to, like, go off of, like, what I feel like is a good handle. Um, I mean, I don't know. Like... I don't know, like, how people, how, like, people generally feel about that kind of stuff. Like, like, yeah, you might buy it because it's really different and it's pretty wacky. But, like, in reality, when you use it, like, does it bother you? Like, <laughs> or does it not? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go off of, like... I don't know, I guess it's kind of, like, my gut instinct to not do that with my work just yet. Um, but, yeah, we definitely have a lot of room for experimentation just with handles. Um, there are things that I... Um, sorry, I just really want to, like, put this clay together so that it's not just sitting here drying out. Um, but yeah, there's definitely stuff that I want to do that, I mean, there are a lot of, um, really tiny things, like, I really like this little, I don't know, ramekin, I guess. The handles are really not necessary, I don't think, I don't know, <laughs> I feel like they're not, but they're just a, a cute little thing. But like, for a mug, you're actually going to use the handle, at least if there's something hot in it. Um, you're gonna use it. So it's like, I'm, I kind of think I might do more experimenting with the ones where it's like optional to use the handle. Um, because it's like, you don't have to use it, you know, like if it really bothers you, you can just like not use it. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of like, um, anybody that's like watching, let me know if you have any like, if you have something like that, like, I mean, I'm kind of thinking of mugs, but like, whatever, but like, I don't know, like, if you have like a mug where it has like a really weird handle, like, like, did you think it was cool when you bought it, but now like actually using it day to day, you're like, you know what, <laughs> never mind. I don't know. I'm really curious what other people think. I mean, 
I don't like I don't know what other people think. I mean, just because uh, like people are out there making them doesn't mean that people like the actual like use of it. Um if that makes sense. It's kind of like clothes. Like you could have something that is like really cute and like cool and kind of weird, but then like the reality of using it, like maybe it's just really annoying. <laughs> kind of a thing I mean there's all kinds of stuff like I don't want to be like I don't want to be like bashing on other like makers and stuff like other artists um because honestly I mean I'm so picky I'm super picky about a lot of things um so I don't know maybe it's just me um but I'd love to hear what other people think um and just, I don't know, just hear other people's, like, opinions on that. Um, <laughs> this is, like, obscenely large. Um, okay, so while we are doing this, okay, I need to, like, add some water to it. It's, like, kind of drying out. Um, I'm just going to, like, add water to all the sides. <clears throat> okay. So something we want to make sure to think about when we're doing this is that um, I think I'm going to do it kind of not like sticking out this much, but like relatively like this. So the point, the two points where the handle touches the mug, those cannot be like flat like right angles they have to be curved a little bit so that's kind of like what we're gonna have to um consider when trimming this to size okay so this angle is too sharp currently when i put it on a table it does not even um, it doesn't look um sharp okay so that's just kind of like something to consider Because we don't want to get like the perfect length, but then we have to like trim it to get it to fit. Um, to like attach to the handle or like attach to the mug correctly. Um, this is like very, very large. Um, I don't know what kind of shape I want. Um, I think maybe, um, okay, I'll try to turn it for you guys. Um, what if I want, like, maybe one that's kind of like that, where it's, like, a weird kind of a C. Mm. Okay, so I think, trim it around here we got we got about 10 minutes till I need to go back to work um we, obviously we still need to like make the bottom <laughs> um we might just I think I don't know I guess we'll just do that tomorrow um because, like, I don't know. I just felt like we could work on the handle, at least, for the remaining time. Um, because I, didn't, I wasn't sure if we'd have enough time to do the bottom yet um, today. Okay, so... Also, another thing to consider, it's very important to make sure that um, you have room in between your fingers and the mug because if this is full of hot coffee, you don't want your fingers to be right up against the mug. Um, that's definitely uh, <laughs> a very large drawback um, to mugs. Like your hands might just barely fit in there and just kind of fit perfectly, but then they're touching the hot <laughs> body of the cup and you don't want that, but you also don't want to feel like they're way too far away from it either. 
I think, well, like, generally, you don't want that. That's kind of, the distance away from the mug is kind of a little bit more up to you, but touching it is uh, kind of a no-no. <laughs> um, but we also have to consider that this is going to shrink a few times. So you, like, you really have to get that sweet spot of, like, how much is it going to shrink? Um... I really want to change this angle. Okay. This thing is like, it's moving all over the place. Um... Okay, I think like relatively there is good. See, the issue is like, okay, we kind of have it in like the perfect shape, but it's like setting it down to dry in that shape is kind of the issue. And that's where uh, my last handle, um, <laughs> that's definitely like the issue that I had last time is that, so I set it down to dry like that and like moving it from the cup to like the shape I wanted down to the table to dry it changed the shape <laughs> and um and then it dried a bit and then when I tried to attach it it was not the right shape to, for like both um for both to like actually attach and then it just ended up breaking um so yeah <laughs> this is like um i don't know the like questionable part um i don't know i'm just gonna like is a little bit it's like pretty dry right now um so I want to like kind of like I don't know smooth out any of those cracks and issues that it was having and then I don't know we're gonna try to We're gonna try to kind of maybe put in the shape that I want to be in, but who knows. Um, we have like four more minutes. So I think we can clean up now and just kind of um, get all of this set. So I'm gonna like, I don't want this to dry really. We're not really done with it in this stage. So I'm just gonna like add quite a bit of water to it. And then um then we'll do like the top and bottom. Okay, and then we have a lot of plastic wrap here. I think I should like move some of this. This one is quite a bit dry. I should like fix this, this one right there, maybe. Kind of like add some water to these. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I don't know. I'll just like dunk this one in some water. I'll really need to like come back to these and make sure that they are not drying too much. Um, I'm just gonna add like a bunch of water. Um, but I should like come back to those and like start like kind of like rolling them out so they're not so like thick and such. Um Okay. I'm gonna like move that over there and obviously we wanna keep this like right side up. And then I'm just kinda like trying to make it into like a circle in case it does dry. And then maybe it's kinda like drying in like the shape that I want it to be. Like if it does dry. Just in case. <laughs> okay. Um I really have no idea like how I am going to try to get the handle to dry in the shape that I want it to. I'm just gonna like guess. Maybe like put it like this maybe. Maybe like something like that and then oh, okay hopefully it doesn't dry tomorrow because I don't know. <laughs> I just don't want to dry. <laughs> not really. Not yet. Um, okay. So, I have to, like, trim this quite a bit. I'm just gonna, like, put some stuff on here. Close up any of those areas where air could get in, because I don't really want to get in. Alright. <sighs> um, yeah. Alright, so, um... I hope this was entertaining at least. We definitely struggled with this today and yesterday quite a bit. Um, thank you for watching and like being here though. Um, there is not a lot of slab building on YouTube or I do, I have tried Skillshare, but Skillshare doesn't have very much, at least since I looked. So we're kind of winging it. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much more slab building we're gonna do because this has been kind of a mess. Um, but who knows? You never know. I feel like I have so many ideas for slab building that would be really fun, but there's definitely a bit of a drawback to doing it. <laughs> um, maybe we'll try coil building too sometime. Um, that's kind of annoying in its own way um, I don't know who knows um but yeah so thank you so much for being here watching the video if you're watching on twitch be sure to follow along so you know when I go when I come online make new videos right now we're doing uh, 1 to 2 p.m pacific time on weekdays and then I might jump on um after work or on the weekend uh, possibly randomly. Um, so be sure to follow along. All the videos for um, the ceramic hour are going to be uploaded to YouTube at Callion Co. And there's a whole playlist there full of all of the ceramic hour videos. There's like, or there's over 40 on there. So there's a lot for you to go watch um, if you want. Um, bye, Robert. Um, uh yeah so be sure to subscribe to the youtube there's other stuff on the channel that is um not just the stream archive there's other ceramics and small business related stuff uh general art topics uh for you to check out uh yeah so be sure to subscribe and like the channel or like the channel like the video or whatever whatever <laughs> all this all this stuff and i will see you guys uh tomorrow all right uh, bye.